Hello everyone and happy new year. Welcome to Oh hey, wait a second. Hmm. Now that I think about it. I'm not the only brick boy in town, am I? Hmm. Now since it's the new year and for a special New Year's Revelation, I think I'm going to change the name of this show. And the new name of this show is Stack Attack! It's Stack Attack. You know where it's at. The one thing we don't lack is the knack for reviewing Legos, and that's a fact. Yeah. Hope you all enjoyed uh, that <laughs> hilariously awesome intro. And today, for our very first time looking at... Uh, what? Huh? Sorry. At our very first time in this new show, Stack Attack, which is basically the same as Brick Boy, just with a few minor touches. We're gonna look at Cruncha, the final spinner pack of Series 3. It is set number 2174. It is ages 6 to 14. It is two, 24 pieces, and it is $9.99, of course. Overpricedness. It is Cruncha. And Cruncher is the Earth General, as Whiplash was the Ice General. And Knuckle was the I the Lightning General. And I guess Samukai was the Fire General. Knuckle is the Earth General. And of course, we're going to take a look at him in our first rendition of Stack Attack. So let's look at the box. So of course, it's the standard. It's got this, and it's got the spinners, and all you know what I'm talking about. Got that in on the back. Of course, he's losing again. Advertisements for Kai, Sensei Wu, Garmadon, Starter Set, and Replash. And let's start with our minifigure, Cruncha. Here is Cruncha. He is, of course, the Earth General, as I just said. He's got a very nice head, a very nice armor piece. Uh, him and Whiplash both have that armor piece, very nice. And this is one piece, his head. Let's uh, get standing. Whatever. And here's his spinner. It's got that green translucent effect and the bottom being purple. Nice and green. Yeah, I like green. Green's my favorite color. So I like his spinner. His spinner's pretty cool. And we get the double sided axe, I think. I don't even know what it's called. So yeah. That's figure. Next with the weapons. He's got the bone, of course, and if he's got this uh, chain, pretty standard weapons. The, I like the double-sided axe, but his standard weapons are pretty basic. And he's got the brown bricks, he's got the two brown 1x2s and the 2x2 two two flat, like all the minifigures. Alright, in the cards, here's his stats. Cruncha, he's an earth, ele earth element. He's got one fire, one lightning, four earth, and four light, four ice. Uh, he's got sacrifice, which is 400 ice. Give up a skeleton arm to take an extra weapon if you win. It's a pretty nice card. Recovery, add a skeleton arm. Gold smash, cancel opponent's golden card. And Impersonation, a golden weapon card, 300 dice. It is pl says, place this card as a copy of an opponent's card. Uh, by the way, this is 200 earth, and this is 400 earth. See, so those are his cards, and let's talk about strategy, of course. In the very first time doing stack attack, we've got to talk about strategy. With these cards, the stats suck. Go away. Sacrifice, it could be a very nice card, because, you know, that's, one, that's a third of your opponent's health. I guess is the word, and usually you're gonna knock out your opponent with that, unless you already use your skeleton arm with cut and run, or if your opponent uses recklessness or something like that. You're probably gonna have both your arms, and you're going to probably defeat your. There's a 50% chance you're gonna defeat your opponent using this card, but the downside is it's 400 uh, ice, and the, the fire has the flame, all those flame pit cards and stuff, so it's kind of difficult to give up that stat. But if you're willing to give up fire, this is a nice card to have. A recover, of course, is nice because you, then you can use cut and run, and you can also use sacrifice, which is uh, that's basically the reason. Uh, that's a really nice way. That's a really nice thing with recovery. Uh, see, I, I wonder if they're gonna add a thing like that for the ninjas, like add 
or get back your headgear if you use it. Yeah, recovery could be useful, but otherwise it's not too great. Uh, gold Smash. Cancel upon is a golden card for 400 Earth. Uh, Earth is obviously not one of the best stats to have 400 of. But for what it is, it's a decent card. Uh, it's very similar to Garmadon's Shadow Sphere, and that card basically did the same thing, but uh, you had to go for your headgear. It was 200 Earth, and uh, it cancels any, any card. But this is only a golden weapon card, and golden weapon cards are some of the best cards, so it's a decent card. Next is impersonation. Play this card as a copy of the opponent's card. This, I think, is the best reason to get Cruncha, because this could be really nice if your opponent plays Flame Pit or something, or uh, if your opponent, if you know your opponent has endurance, endurance in their hand, and uh, they like they use a card to help them with endurance, you can copy the card, and then you know, or for this play, a really good card. Copy. I'm not quite sure how this works, like maybe it's just the card that they played that turn, or it could be the card they played, you know, whenever. But, yeah, it's not very clear. See, so, yeah, Impersonation is a good card, it's 200 ice and a golden weapon, so you gotta keep your golden weapon to use it. But, uh, you could use it in a lot of situations, and also I really like the artwork on this card. It's pretty funny, Zane DX is, I guess, kidnapping crazy and putting on his armor. It's pretty funny. So yeah, now uh, I guess we should spin the spinner, since this is going to be our last time doing Series 3, and then we'll be on to 2012, and we'll do all those awesome sets. So, 1, 2, 3, Ninja Go! Yay, look at him go off screen. Yay! Get back here. Oh, shoot. This is an awesome first episode. Yay! Whatever, I'll do that later. So yes, Crunch, uh, uh, let's look at his, uh, this, this is going to be the, one of the things stack attack, the rating system is going to be a little different. First of all, how I rate my, the first ratings in Brick Boy I did, uh, I rated it on size, uh, mock pieces, or just, you know, pieces in general, play value, and cool factor, and sometimes I did the must get value. But this, it's going to be a little different. I'm going to see how this set stacks up. So let's see what all those factors add up to. So I'm kind of doing the same thing, just a little different ratings. So the size, of course, it's awful size. So let's take off a few... Well, actually, let's, uh, let's get out the uh, stack bar, which is uh, has five colors. It has the red, or the four colors, red, orange, yellow, and blue. Red it means it's a really great set. Orange means it's just a really, it's a pretty good set. You should get it. Yellow means it's an okay set, and white is I don't recommend this set. So let's start off at the yellow or the, to the orange mark. So size is really bad. So I'll take a few points for that. Boom. Okay. So next is play value. Uh, play value, of course, it is a ninja go set, so it gets a really big plus for play value. So let's add those blocks back and add. One more orange. And has some awesome great, great cards. Spinners, of course, really fun to battle with and to play the game with. Uh, next is Cool Factor. I'm going to go... I think it's kind of average on Cool Factor. Because he does have a cool spinner and he has the cool weapon. I like his axe. Sorry for the cup. I like the design on his cards. He has some really nice artwork on the cards. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to add an orange for that. We're going to add one. I shouldn't say the colors. Uh, pieces. Uh, I think it's kind of, he doesn't have too many great pieces. I mean, the spinner's great. Uh, but other than that, he doesn't really have any too many creative pieces other than himself. Which, you know, you can get him in tons of other great sets. So I'm going to deduct a point for that. So overall, let's see how it stacks up. Uh, I'm not going to do must get value. I'm only going to do that for certain sets. Uh, looks like it's a pretty good set. I definitely recommend you get it if you're a fan of the Ninja Go sets. It's uh, ten dollars, which is of course overpriced, but it is of course really fun. It's got the card and such. So yeah, it's on orange. So I'd recommend this set to any fan of the card game. So I hope you enjoyed the new stack attack format. And uh, yeah. 
I'll see you guys next week for more LEGO reviews with the new year and uh, Stack Attack. Later. Mm -hmm.